Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got these uh, three identical uh, squares uh, fully inscribed uh, in a circle with the center O, as you can see in this uh, diagram, such that the area of these uh, yellow square is uh, four centimeter square. And these points A, B, and C are the points uh, of these uh, squares uh, contacts. And now we are going to calculate the radius of this circle. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. Let me make it very clear that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. And here's our very first step. Let's focus on these identical yellow squares whose area is 4 centimeter square. And now let's recall the area of a square formula. Area equals to S square where s represents the side length of the square since our area is 4 so i'm going to write down s square equals to 4 let's go ahead and take the square root on both sides so our side length s turns out to be 2 centimeter so therefore all these side lengths of these square turns out to be 2 and here's our next step. Uh, we have dropped uh, this uh, perpendicular that uh, passes through the center of this uh, circle. And it uh, passes through this uh, point of contact uh, C. And these uh, points F uh, and uh, P. And these uh, points F and P are the midpoints uh, of this uh, square A, B, D, E. That means uh, this uh, distance A, F equals to this distance FB. If this whole distance is 2, so therefore this is going to be 1 and this uh, length is going to be 1 as well. And likewise this EP is going to be 1 and this uh, PD is going to be 1 centimeter as well. And here's our next step. Let's focus on this triangle uh, ABC and we can see that this is an equilateral uh, triangle since all side lengths are 2 centimeter each and we know that the angles of an uh, equilateral triangle are uh, 60 degrees each so therefore all these uh, three angles are going to be 60 degrees each and here's our next step we have connected uh, these points a and uh, center o and as a result we got this uh, right triangle uh, a f o and we can see that this uh, a o is the angle uh, bisector of this uh, angle B A C so that means half of this angle is going to be 30 degrees so therefore this angle F A O is going to be 30 degrees now let me go ahead and focus on this uh, triangle A F O I'm gonna call uh, this height uh, O F as a lowercase uh, h and now we are going to calculate the value of this uh, height h. And now let's recall uh, so Toa and we are interested in uh, tangent of 30 degrees and tangent equals to opposite uh, divided by adjacent. And in our case our uh, opposite side is h and our adjacent is 1 centimeter for this angle uh, 30 degrees. So therefore in our case uh, tangent of uh, 30 degrees is going to be opposite is height h divided by adjacent is 1 centimeter and we know that the tangent of 30 degrees is 1 divided by square root of 3 or that could be written as square root of 3 divided by 3 if we rationalize its denominator so therefore the left hand side is going to become square root of 3 divided by 3 equals to h divided by 1 is same as h so therefore our this uh, length uh, o f uh, turns out to be square root of 3 divided by 3 and here's our next step we have connected uh, these points uh, e and this uh, center o such that we got uh, this uh, right triangle uh, e p o as you can see over here and now we can see that this uh, O E is the radius of this uh, circle. Let me call uh, this uh, radius of the circle as a lowercase r. And now we are going to find the value of this uh, radius r. And we know that this uh, E P length is uh, 1. 
and now we can see this uh, fp length uh, is uh, 2 centimeter so therefore i'm going to write down uh, 2 and we already figured out uh, this length of as square root of 3 divided by 3 and now we are interested in this uh, whole uh, length uh, op and we know op length equals to the sum of these uh, two individual lengths uh, of plus uh, fp so therefore this whole length uh, op turns out to be 2 plus uh, square root of 3 divided by 3 and now let's go ahead and use the pythagorean uh, theorem to solve for this uh, radius r and here's our Pythagorean theorem, a square plus b square equal to c square. Let me go ahead and call this longest leg as our side c. I'm going to call this side a and this side b. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, formula. So it's going to be a 1 square plus b in our case is 2 plus square root of 3 divided by 3 whole square equal to r square and now let's focus on this uh, part over here and here i have copied it down and now let's recall this uh, famous identity a plus b whole square could be written as uh, a square plus 2ab plus b square i'm going to apply it on this uh, binomial so therefore this is going to give us uh, 2 square plus uh, 2 times uh, 2 times uh, square root of 3 divided by 3 and then plus finally square root of 3 divided by 3 whole square so that is going to give us 4 plus 4 times square root of 3 divided by 3 and this plus that is going to give us 3 divided by 9 or this could be written as 4 plus 4 times square root of 3 divided by 3 and that reduces to 1 divided by 3 and in next step if we add this uh, 4 plus 1 divided by 3 that is going to give us uh, 13 divided by 3 and then a plus uh, 4 times square root of 3 divided by 3 so therefore this whole thing uh, has been uh, simplified to this one so let me go ahead and simplify this uh, equation 1 square is same as 1 plus I'm going to replace this whole thing uh, by this one which is uh, 13 divided by 3 plus 4 times square root of 3 divided by 3 equals to r square and in this next step if we add 1 plus 13 divided by 3 that is going to give us 16 divided by 3 in the numerator we can see that 4 is in common so therefore i brought this 4 as a common outside and we left with the 4 plus square root of 3 and divided by 3 as a common uh, denominator now let's go ahead and take the square root on both sides to undo this uh, square so i'm going to take the square root on both sides so therefore our r value turns out to be this square root of 4 is going to be 2 outside and we ended up with uh, 4 plus uh, square root of 3 divided by 3 so thus here is the radius uh, of the circle and that is approximately equal to 2.76 centimeter. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.